The twins are getting a first-hand look at Murphy's Law when everything that could go wrong does go wrong. It's been a combination of bad pitching, shaky fundamental play, and just plain bad luck that has led to a Twins record 14 straight losses. Despite all that, Calvin Griffith told Tom Ryther today that things will change. I said in July our ball club will start gelling. And it's not too far away now. We're in June. But I'm just hoping that maybe by the end of June or first part of July, our ball players will start uh, getting together and doing the things that they're capable of doing. But we got to get the pitching in rotation and get a couple of new faces on that staff to get the ball over the plate. Now, you may bring some players up from Toledo, some pitchers. Will you be dealing for any? Well, yes, we're trying to make some deals right now. We are dealing with around five or six ball clubs in the American League. We got up until uh, June the 15th to do it. And uh, we're trying every day to uh, strengthen our pitching staff. And uh, if we can do it, uh, we're going to do it because that's the name of the game is pitching. The uh, Twins will host Baltimore tomorrow night at the Dome, 7.30 start. Over 3,000 mentally handicapped children and adults have been busy the past two days in St. Cloud. It's the 12th annual Minnesota Special Olympics that started yesterday and continues through tomorrow. Athletes of all ages are competing in 15 events, plus a series of wheelchair events. Over 1,000 volunteers are helping out this year, and they end up benefiting almost as much as the athletes. It makes the volunteers smile. It makes the athletes smile. Um, for years, people have told our, our, our mentally handicapped people, you can't do it. And Special Olympics says you can. All you need is the chance. And, and when you give them that chance, everybody benefits, not only the athletes. The NBA playoffs resume tonight in Los Angeles, where the Lakers hold a 2-1 edge in their best-of-seven series with the Philadelphia 76ers. The 76ers are hoping to get back on the winning track and even the series at two games apiece, but that is unlikely. The Lakers are holding the uh, home court advantage. Anyone knows that the worst thing to do to a man of Larry Holmes' size and stature is to get him mad, but it's too late. Holmes can't wait to get Jerry Cooney in the ring and prove that Cooney just doesn't have the experience to stay with him. But there's more to Holmes' anger than that. It doesn't seem possible in this day and age, but racial overtones are surrounding this fight. And that's a throwback to the days of Jack Johnson when the uh, black-white angle in boxing first became an issue. Yesterday, a guy says to me, I'm betting on Jerry Cooney. I said, why? He said, because you washed up. I said, now tell me the real reason. He's because he's white, and we need a white champion. All my days, I've no, only known a champion. No matter what color he was or what race he was or who he represented or whatever, he was a champion. Because you don't win the title by your color. You win it by your ability and your determination. That's what you win the title with. Colors do not have anything to do with it. After 50 years of ownership, the Norris family has sold the NHL's Detroit Red Wings to Detroit Pizza King Mike Illich. And according to NHL President John Ziegler, negotiations between the league owners and the Players Association have taken a major step backwards. During yesterday's meeting in West Palm Beach, Florida, the owners reportedly walked out following a heated discussion over free agent compensation. One